Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Florida is trailing the national response rate by nearly three percentage points. We are seeing low census return rates, especially in our communities of color. Marilyn Stevens, the assistant regional manager for the Census Bureau, says that's a sign the state needs to do better. So Florida is not pleased with where it is right now. And that's why we are working so hard on this push to get more households to self-respond. The count is used to allocate congressional districts, but more importantly, it influences the allocation of funding. For infrastructure, health care, education. And also pandemic relief funding. Just look at the CARES Act, right? The CARES Act was saying that uh, cities or counties of over 500,000 can draw the money down themselves, whereas everyone else had to go through the state. Well, that count of 500,000 comes from a census count. There's three primary ways of responding to the census. You can return your form via mail. You can also respond via phone. And for the first time ever, you can respond online. And Florida politicians are working to get the message out. I know for us in our legislative office, we have been posting online reminders and links um, daily. But they say the governor has a role to play as well. I and mean, I've never heard him mention it. And he's kind of declined to get that involved in the census. The deadline to respond is October 31st, but the Bureau is encouraging everyone to fill it out as soon as possible. We'll include the link and phone number to respond on our website. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.